Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, God, you are looking at one happy camper today. You won't believe it, Thursday. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9, by the way, but folks, Thursday, it's drop day, supreme. For the first time in my entire life, I scored a Supreme Box logo hoodie on the drop today. Maybe I shouldn't spoil that because I actually recorded like a short 30 second clip. I held my phone up to the screen when the processing bar on the checkout page was filling up. And as always, I expected it to fill up and say, sorry, sold out. You weren't fast enough like it's done the last four years of me collecting Supreme, but just wait, just wait till you see it. I still can't even believe it. Until it's in my hands, I can't believe it. But anyway, so that's upcoming. Let's get to the intro. Folks, here we are in the McDonald's drive-thru, just grabbing a little din. Uh, I'm super excited for the Mariah menu. <laughs> Have you seen that? That's coming up, a promotion they're doing soon. Sorry for the brief cutoff, <laughs> but uh, it was my turn. I was next up to the window. All right, folks, we are back with our McDonald's. I was just super excited because, number one, Oh, look at this thing. Are you kidding me? How freaking gorgeous is that beast? But it's the Mariah menu coming up at McDonald's on the 13th. I'm not going to spoil anything. Go check it out for yourself. It's actually really exciting. But uh, after doing all that, all of the uh, McDonald's uh, research that I did today, I ended up talking to myself, <laughs> talking myself into getting McDonald's for dinner tonight. So that's up. All right. So anyway... Next up, we are going to, I actually recorded a short clip, about 30 seconds long, of me snagging that Supreme Box logo hoodie. For some reason, I thought I should record, and I did, and I got it. I wasn't expecting to, but anyway, I'll put that in here too. Did I get the Box logo hoodie? No way. No freaking way. Oh my god. I got one, folks. Can you believe it? My first ever Supreme Box logo hoodie. There were a lot of good colors. I really like the pink one. That's the one I actually tried to get first. But in the commotion of the website... Thinking it was sold out, I went for black. I'm really happy that I did because I'm going to be wearing this a lot. I don't buy to resell. I buy to wear. I'm going to be wearing the hell out of this. And black is the best color to avoid showing stains. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I mentioned this. I went to the movies the other day and wore one of my favorite Supreme hoodies. One of my favorite white hoodies. Nacho cheese, folks. Elbow right into the nacho cheese. That ain't coming out. This black hoodie should have less issues with staining, but oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We got one. So what is Supreme all about? Now, you know, if you've been here for a while, especially on this channel, I've done a lot of Supreme unboxings. And I sometimes take it for granted that maybe, you know, not everyone knows what Supreme is. So in 1994, a skateboard company was founded by James Jebbia. The only reason I know this is because I looked it up. <laughs> Not today, but in the past. Because, you know, when I was young, maybe I heard about Supreme from time to time, but I would never have considered myself a skater. I owned maybe two skateboards in my entire life. But then when I started working at PayPal, especially in the brand risk department, we deal with counterfeit a lot. At least we used to. The department's kind of evolved. But uh, back in the day, if, several years ago... Supreme counterfeit all the time we would come across it and I was like god like all these major luxury brands that I've heard of Louis Vuitton and Gucci and stuff like that I can understand that Supreme what is this and why are they constantly being counterfeited especially with uh, the box logos 
That's the easiest thing to counterfeit, right? It's literally the most famous box logo is just a white short sleeve t-shirt with a red box logo across the chest with white font. And uh, easy thing to reproduce and people were doing it all the time. You can always tell it's counterfeit when the price points are so low because if you get a legit authentic Supreme box logo, third party is gonna be through the roof in terms of resale value. Which is why it's so hard to actually get one. Of course, you can get them for a decent price on the website. When they drop, they own, Supreme drops a box logo a couple times a year, maybe. Because they'll do a t-shirt release. And then like just today was a hoodie release with a box logo. And uh, for years, I've been collecting since about 2017. In PayPal, when I first heard about it, and I started to get into it, which was a dangerous thing to do with an addictive personality like mine, especially if, you know, the whole point is you can get the stuff for actually relatively inexpensively if you're fast enough on the website. You know, they release this stuff once, and then that's it. They don't release it again. And everyone's after it. All the hype beasts. I'm absolutely a hype beast. But anyway, so, and of course I'm wearing Palace, which is like the UK's version of Supreme, but it's not as popular. It's still very popular, but just not to the, you know, extreme heights that Supreme is. But, um, so yeah, after all these years, trying my best, and like I said, I'm not a reseller. I buy to wear, buy to keep, and uh, I don't use bots. Because that's the way to do it, you know, people who are able to snag things really fast off the website on drop day have used a bot and some bots can cost a thousand dollars or more and of course people justify that by reselling what they get and to pay for the bot and get a profit. Uh, but I don't use bots. I also don't buy third party. So anything Supreme I have is purchased by me manually on drop day from Supreme itself. So that method means I'm not going to have much luck with the super hyped items typically. But recently they put in some decent anti-bot measures. Uh, like today you had to physically draw a circle when you wanted to add one of these to your cart. One of these box logo hoodies. You had to draw a circle on the thing before it would have let you add it to the cart. And so I did and somehow, some way, I managed to actually get one of those hoodies. So for the first time since my collection began, I now have an actual Supreme Box logo hoodie. That's like the cream of the crop. That is the, finally, the cornerstone of my collection. Like I have so much Supreme stuff from socks and shoes to underwear to t-shirts to hoodies, jackets, jewelry, beanies, ear, I don't think, yeah, I do have Supreme earrings now. I'm like, I literally, every, anything you can think of, I finally now have. But um, I did not have a box logo. I had one that I claimed was a box logo that was a split. And I can't remember if I talked about this earlier or not, but it was a CDG hoodie where the box logo was cut in half. One half was up, one half was down, and the font was backwards. It was a, a designer collab with Supreme, and they altered the box logo in that way. But it wasn't a real box logo because a real box logo is an embroidered like patch across the chest um, on these hoodies anyway. And that hoodie was just a print. Um, but uh, so I'm just so excited. I can't believe it. I was not prepared for that. So I think I've stuck the clip of me actually getting it into the video prior to this. I wanted to do, save this explanation for later. So what you saw there was, okay, 10 a.m., the new stuff gets dropped on the website. And so I'm on the website, 9.59, refresh, 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 on the sweatshirt tab. And keep doing that until finally the new hoodies dropped. Click on the hoodie, click on the size, click on the color, add to cart, do the circle thing, check out. Thankfully, I have an autofill. Just put the cursor in one of the blank things for name or address, and it'll fill out the entire page essentially for you. You know, Chrome autofill for checkout. Just remembers your address and stuff like that. Hit the submit button and then you see the processing bar slowly go across. And then where I started the clip was the processing bar kind of stopped 
shortly from the end, and I'm like, oh God, here we go again. Nine times out of 10, this means I'm too late. It's gonna go to the next page and say it's sold out, because yeah, putting it in your cart does not reserve it for you by any means. Uh, but so I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, I'm gonna record this and we'll see. So I actually took out my phone and I started recording it. And uh, that was the clip you saw there was, I recorded it and then finally it actually switched to the next page and the silence is me processing internally. Is it telling me it's declined? No, it's telling me the order went through. Are you kidding me? And then of course the order confirmation email came into my email inbox. That was the next step. But the final step will actually be getting it because until it's actually in my hands, anything can happen, anything at all. You can get the order confirmation screen and actually have n and actually not get it. And then you can get the confirmation email and something goes wrong, you may not actually get it. So until the hoodie's in my hands, and believe me when it is, we are gonna be vlogging like crazy. But I'm just so excited to finally have that piece of the puzzle. But anyway, so I just wanted to kind of explain that a little bit and then that other clip of the web page showing it sold out. That was just taken just a couple minutes ago, hours after the drop, just to show you what the hoodie actually looks like because otherwise that confirmation page had a little tiny picture of it. You really couldn't make out what it looked like. So I wanted to at least show a bigger picture of it. But yeah, it's just a plain hoodie. Can you believe it? But that's, and I know it looked kind of expensive. It was 170 bucks for a hoodie. But if you go on like StockX right now, even the same day as the drop, you can see it's already over 350 resell but of course i'm not reselling it it's mine forever all right thank you all right folks today's lego city advent calendar unboxing for day nine was this it is and this one actually since you know these micro scale vehicles we've already seen don't actually have wheels they just have the illusion of wheels this one actually does have wheels that roll i don't know if this is supposed to be like a maybe a monster truck that can crunch over other vehicles still in that micro scale because it kind of makes sense with this kind of uh, dirt patch area over here that maybe this is where this guy's supposed to go. So that is the treat we unbox today in the Advent Calendar Day 9. All right, folks, and that'll do it for today. Day 9, tomorrow, day 10. Can you believe it? We're in the, we're going to be in the double digits. That's crazy. All right, we're going to keep trucking along. Thank you, everyone, for your supportive comments recently and likes. That has been absolutely fantastic. So as always, folks, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.